stands for it's open mic night tv with us uh, i believe from texas is a gentleman oh that has a, a crooning style voice that you will actually get to see him perform and listen to a couple of his songs the gentleman's name is frank owens how you doing frank <clears throat> Now, we've, we've been contacting each other and your, um, pro, not your producer, your um, promoter, uh, for a short while now. Public relations, yes. Right. Um, and one of the things that between your, your uh, the individual that, that I was talking to, I believe her name was Jennifer. That's correct. One of the things that... I, I sent to her as a question because I read the bios, and it for a uh, I, I'm not going to say a, a monstrous type of bio that I read, but it was very informative um, in uh, as far as I want to say historical background of you. Um, first off, you are a uh, an individual whose family basically dates back how many generations in Texas? Well, we're five generations now, including my son, but I'm the fourth generation in Texas. Now, and, uh, we, all, we all, my great-grandfather and my great-uncle were farmers and ranchers in uh, Arizona, New Mexico, and in El Paso County, the El Paso, Texas area, and which consequently, subsequently, my grandfather carried in Now, would you consider your first generation uh, basically after the Civil War? No, um, my, my, my father, my grandfather was. Okay. He's my great-grandfather. Okay. <laughs> so was that, was that basically the first generation that came out of Texas yeah. at that point in time? My great-grandfather, yes. Correct. Now, when I was a tyke, and when I say a tyke, I was probably knee-high to a grasshopper. I lived in El Paso. Uh, my father was a uh, border inspector uh, with the Border Patrol uh, way back when. <laughs> um, and I can vaguely remember me sitting on windowsills eating, ooh, hot peppers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My, my system was uh, fairly strong as a young kid, uh, not so much now. <laughs> so, 
Um, I read your bio also that uh, it, it says you're definitely not a follower, but a trendsetter. Explain that, please. you were doing in the business that you were that you were in but uh, listening to your vocals uh, you, you have that Jim Reeves style so my next question to you is who influenced you Ray Price ah the other the other gentleman ah uh, yes The, the, well, well, we're going to be doing three songs of, of, of you uh, as far as the show is concerned. And, and the first one is a video. She has eyes. And yeah. you can almost, uh, if you close your eyes, you can almost uh, feel that emotion from, like, like a Ray Price. Yeah. So yeah. Um, can you give us a little bit on uh, She Has Eyes? She Has Eyes was written when I met a beautiful woman here in El Paso. I met her briefly, and then we met a few other times. And, and uh, she was just strikingly beautiful, and I just never could really get get with her, get to, get to know her that well. But I did get to know her later. But I found out that that she was not available, and that's the reason I wrote the song. The minute I, the, the day I met her was back in. Uh, uh, it was March the 14th, and on exactly what day I wrote my lyrics, it was March the 14th, 2000, 
you out there right now, here's your chance to see She Has Eyes by Frank Owen. Enjoy. She has eyes that go straight through you. She's a real deal and I want her as mine. I'm hoping all the while it will work As I give her plenty of time She has beauty that scares me When I look at her it just makes me melt Looking into her eyes makes me dream of all the days we have felt She's a real deal and I want her as mine I'm hoping all the while it will work As I give her plenty of time She's an independent thinker Wanting the real thing Security and romance will get her that ring For I know now she's a soft kind Not wanting any drama behind She was so nice and easy to know All that went through my mind was her heart Looking at me with her eyes aglow With her in my arms, it's time to part She's a real deal and I want her as mine I'm hoping all the while it will work As I give her plenty of time really kind of sad We were together a short while But that's not so bad Remembering how her eyes looked straight through me But you gotta know that made me feel free She's a real deal and I want her as mine I'm hoping all the while She does have lovely eyes. Great song there, Frank. Thank you. Now, we were talking uh, off air. You have two albums. Uh, the first one was After All These Years, and the second one, we already mentioned Hello Again. Now, yep. you, you had talked about a certain song off the first album, uh, After All These Years. What was the song? And what's what's the song all about? Uh, it's a song that's about a, about a, a friend of mine who was in uh, a really abusive relationship before, and she came to me and she goes, "What do I do?" And so I started talking to her, and she told me all her situation and so forth. And, and so that's where I got the that's where I got the idea of the lyrics, and it's so true because it is exactly what she went through. But then she got out of it, and then she's fine now. She's she's moved on and so forth. And, and she thanked me for, for talking to her and helping her with that. So I wrote lyrics about it. It turned out to be a really pretty song. That was on my first album after all these years. Now the second album, Hello Again, uh, the three songs that, that we are showcasing uh, as far as for you uh, is off of that album, uh, She Has Eyes, which they just saw. Uh, 
you have one that I, you know, I, I want to snicker every time I, I even try to pronounce it, called Crock-Pot and Microwaves. <laughs> situation.
Frank, uh, there's a, a little uh, mention of a possible touring uh, coming down the road. Uh, has any of that been finalized, and if so, when will it start, and where are you going? Since you, 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 uh, you're ready to go, your your last song of the evening uh, is called We Fit Together Like a Club. Um, describe. Well, we fit together like a glove. It's, 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 I'm single, so I, I have a, a tendency to, to date a few women here and there, and, and they're all beautiful, and, and I just, that, that song came to mind on a beautiful woman that I knew 10 years ago. For, for you out there right now, let's uh, stop on by and uh, let's uh, listen to uh, We Fit Together Like the Glove by Frank Owen. I know you're going to enjoy it. Whenever I think of you, I just smile. And when I see you, I just melt I hope you will be here for a while All I know is what 
I felt Don't be leaving me anytime soon Life's too short to be alone Where you came from I don't know Now we're together to set the tone Don't be afraid to feel the love We should thank him from above Now it's time to find real love Cause we fit together like a glove How can I not hold you to be so bold Nor kiss those lips and never know What we miss but never too old We will need Go forward to let it show Don't go through life growing old and alone The window of life is right here and now It's not good to hide under a stone When all we should do is figure out how Don't be afraid to feel the love We should thank him from above Now it's time to find real love Cause we fit together like a glove sides of the world. One was born in Lebanon, Beirut, presently a Canadian citizen residing in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And the other is from Newport, South Wales, United Kingdom. Both met and began collaborating back in August 2005, calling themselves the Soul Touchers. The two young ladies are Canadian T.J. Way, and Welsh, Aaron Gannon Sims. T.J. Way started writing music at the age of, mm, let's say about 13, and she claims her influences range from Elvis Presley to Loretta Lynn. Aaron Gannon Sims has had a successful recording career that has seen a host of publishing deals, scores of radio play on stations around the world, and her father once played with a gentleman by the name of Van Morrison, for those who know who Van Morrison is. The two young ladies have collaborated on various songs allowing a portion of, if not all proceeds, be donated to various children's ailments 
Now, the next three songs that you are going to be uh, watching or listening to are, are have that R&B style uh, sound. The songs are I'll Be Okay, Take Me Away, and Close Your Eyes with Aaron Sims singing. So enjoy.
song that was composed by T.J. Way and Terry Silverlake for a soundtrack uh, to a movie that will be called uh, Two Nations Movie, or Two Nations, I should say, that happens to be a movie. Uh, it's about a legend told to uh, Ruby by her maternal grandmother, Virginia Carolyn Boston, about the integration of escaped African slaves and the Native American Indians living on Turtle Island. This movie, uh, if you wish to learn more about, uh, the website would be www.twonations.com. The movie itself, uh, the writer, Ruby Lee Thigpen Whitehurst, the director of the movie is a gentleman by the name of John Fouts, and executive producers of this movie is Dan Williams, Ben Scott Miller, and Arena Simmons. Here, for your pleasure, is a song that is sung by T.J. Way. In the movie, the song is not sung, it is spoken. But for your benefit, you will hear the song itself by T.J. Way. 
So enjoy.
now for our final performance of the evening. Uh, we are bringing back a, um, a gentleman and his uh, trio uh, called uh, JTEX and the Volunteers. They're from Denmark. Uh, they're basically a traveling trio made up of artists, sailors, surfers, writers, painters, and farmers. Uh, they're pretty much a, a nomadic trio enjoying whiskey, coffee, smoke, and improvising on their instruments. I guess you could say their style of music is comfortable and familiar, like gin and tonic, but with an extra shoot and a taller glass. So you can catch their newest album, Old Ways and New Days, on Spotify, if you get around to it. So, why don't you sit back for the rest of the show and enjoy the sounds of JTEX and the Volunteers.
by the looks of the clock on the wall. If it doesn't work, the show is at an end. Got some great people today. Uh, come back next week. We're actually going to have a, uh, a big surprise to tell you. Uh, I want to thank Nutmeg TV for allowing us to air our program at the station. Uh, I, I want to thank the artists, uh, the ones that we interviewed, the ones we didn't interview, the ones that we showcased, and of course, you out there that are stopping by to watch our program. We want to thank you for that. So at this time, we want to wish everyone a good night, a safe week. Y'all take care now.